Hi, I'm Mike Mercurio, Chief Executive Officer at the Greater San Diego Association of Realtors and the MLS. This is The Scoop, where agents will get the latest information and trends regarding today's current marketplace in San Diego. And I'm Mark Marquez, 2010 past president of the San Diego Association of Realtors and current director of the San Diego MLS. Here today we're at the 2020 New Laws Symposium that the San Diego Association of Realtors puts on every year. We're proud to welcome one of our esteemed guests, Mr. Alan Nevin. Mr. Nevin is Director of Economic and Market Research at Expera Group and has an extensive background in economics, lending, and market analysis. Welcome, Alan. Thank you, sir. Yes, thank you, Alan, for being here. And uh, Alan, as you know, you're starting to do some great economic reports for us at the association. So I encourage everybody to look for those and read those on a quarterly basis and some monthly little highlights. But uh, we talk about San Diego as a hot market, or you often do. What are still some of the challenges despite the hot market that San Diego agents and consumers are facing? Well, the problem is we have gained 35,000 jobs last year and we've only permitted 8,000 new housing units. That's a problem, a big problem. That is, that is. Uh, Alan, with the current economic boom in San Diego, we're also seeing issues with commuting, cross-border housing, um, where individuals are commuting daily to work in the San Diego region. Do you expect this trend to continue, given our inability to meet the demand locally, or any other comment you have with respect to lack well, of inventory? Well, it's clearly a disaster. We're seeing almost 70,000 folks a day commuting out of Riverside to jobs down here. We're seeing 20,000 coming north across the border. And we're starting to see more and more people from South Orange County commuting here just because they have housing and we don't. So let me ask you this. So you say booming economy, a lot of new jobs, not enough places for people to live. What about the constant thing we hear about San Diego? Cost of living's too high. Which, it certainly is. But how do you rectify that with the some end, of the data you're seeing? You know, the problem is that the really great markets for jobs in the United States are all in very expensive places like Washington, Boston, Seattle, San Francisco, and they muddle through. And they muddle through by having uh, multi-generational households, by having a lot of singles living together. Forty percent of the millennials in California live with their parents. Well, I don't know how my parents would still feel if I were living with them, but uh, <laughs> I'm glad I'm not one of them. What about the constant people are leaving San Diego? How, how's that offset anything, well, if it, it does? It's a, and incidentally, it's a fairly insignificant number, but the reality is the uh, less affluent are leaving, but we are getting a major influx of college-educated folks here. So are you seeing, uh, in terms of demographics, younger people moving to San Diego or staying in San Diego after college? Yes, absolutely. We and of course they all need to start families, they need housing and, and homes and things of that nature. They do, and uh, that's a continuing trend. I don't see it changing. So does that mean we'll have a thriving or sustainable real estate market into the indefinite future? Yes, if enough people decide they want to sell their homes, <laughs> uh, and that doesn't seem to be happening very Given much. Given our inventory crisis, right? <laughs> cool. Yes, and well, that's Mark's job to make yeah. sure people want to sell their home. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you for your comments today. And uh, for everyone watching, thank you for joining us. This is The Scoop. And don't forget to go to sdmls.com backslash stats to get the latest data for you and your clients. You can receive it by email or text daily.